This is an elk steak, and this is, well, steaks, elk steaks. It says they're obviously all mushed up together, and they're frozen right at the moment. But I'm going to put them in the Instant Pot and put some water in there with them. And right now we're not plugged in. We will be in a minute. I'm going to pressure cook this for, uh, because it's frozen, I'm going to say an hour and a half. And then I'll check it and um, see how it goes. And then I, my plan is to add some beans at some point. But I want this to get nice and tender. I have approximately three cups of water in there. And I add a little bit of salt. And so that it gets a little bit of onion flavor, I'm going to add some chopped onions also. Uh, we're all out of fresh onions to chop up. So I have to go with these kind. So I'm just going to sprinkle some in there, enough to kind of flavor it as it's cooking. So the lid's on, set to pressure, and it's going to go for about two hours. If it gets, to, if I get to smelling it real, like it might be done or something, I'll check it sooner, but we'll see how it goes. So, back with you later. It, for you, it will just be a second or so for me, a couple of hours. Okay, this is letting the steam out. It was a lot louder. I let this go for an hour, and I want to go in and check it. Oh yeah, the steaks are all apart now. You can see. Steam coming out. Looks like there's one, two, three, five up. Five of them in there. Oops. Okay, I'm going to put about a cup of the great northern beans, white beans. This is one cup. And I will put that in with the steaks and then set it for another hour and see where we're at. I'm also going to add a little bit of low sodium soy sauce just to kind of give it everything more flavor so here's the beans being added in and i'll need to use both ends to open this It's smelling really good. So I'm going to go ahead and close this back up and put it for one more hour. When I opened it, it said 57 minutes left. So I'm going to go with 60, 60 minutes. This is close enough. I'm going to check on this. We'll let the steam out first. Well, it took that entire five minutes and a minute more even for all the steam. Well, it was still coming out a little bit. <laughs> it was a lot of steam built up in there. But let's get this thing open. No, oh, it's not going to let me quite yet. There we go.
dirty dishes in the sink. <laughs> Oh yeah, the, whoop. my camera wasn't pointing the right direction. The meat's looking good. Let's see what the beans are like. Let's put some of them in a dish here. Okay, I'm gonna make some gravy. So I put a couple spoonfuls of cornstarch with some cold water that I'm going to dig, dig out. And I think I'll leave it in there. Let me pour this in. Okay, so I'm going to set this on, uh, well, let's put it on, I know what I want, I'm looking for it here. Saute, I guess, is what I wanted. I was looking for the word sear, but saute is what I want. That'll heat it back up in there a little more. And I'm going to meat is so tender it just breaks off into small pieces, which is what I wanted. Stop that and turn that on. Okay, that's on 11 minutes. Okay, I'll leave it there. I will go sit down and well, actually, I'll monitor this, but it will probably start boiling a little bit. So I want to turn it into gravy, and I'm sure it's salty enough. It's not real thick, but it's thick enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. It's off now, but it, it will finish the residual heat there. We'll let it cook a little bit more. I'll come back and show you when I dish it up. Well, it didn't all fit in that bowl. So I'm going to take my lunch portion out. I'll take my lunch portion out of here, actually, and, and commence eating. Uh, trying to get a bite here. That's so good. That is really good. Everything was cooked just the right amount of time. An hour with just the meat, another hour with the meat and the beans, and then just a few minutes 
sauteing with some cornstarch to kind of gravy up the liquid. It was perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Not the best filming in the world, but <laughs> that's what happens sometimes. And I know it's been a pretty minute since I've made a video. I'm not going to apologize just the way it is. <laughs> I, I will see you on the next video that I make. Until then, may you be filled to the brim with God's love and blessings. This is Darlene signing out for now. <laughs>